Are you looking for your next book to read this summer? I've got an amazing, inspirational book, uh, Amber's Way, and I have the author who's going to tell us all about the book. Welcome, uh, Gloria Galloway. Hi, Mike. Thank you for having me on the show. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit about Amber's Way. Well, Amber's Way uh, is about a young girl's struggle with uh, childhood cancer. Uh, it's her journey. It's, the story starts with her parents' storybook romance, her diagnosis at age four, remission, and then its return at age 13. Uh, it's about family and love, and most of all, it's about the bond between a mother and a daughter during a very terrible time. Yes. Uh, you sit in a couple of images. I want to start with the most intriguing one. Is it a man holding a deer? Yes, yes. That was the inspiration for the story, actually. Uh, one Christmas, I was speaking with my father and my son's father-in-law, Vince Giles, and we were talking about growing up in Sacramento. He lived in the unincorporated section of the city, and one day this deer showed up like a lost puppy. She would knock on the door with her hoof to be let in. She'd sleep in the children's bedroom, and she'd uh, race with them alongside their bikes. Mm. And uh, eventually she did return to the wild, but uh, I knew I wanted to write a story about a deer. And actually Amber has a deer show up that she names Jane Doe. Yeah, and uh, so you weave the real life deer into the stories. By the way, I've got a couple of uh, ki adorable kid pictures here. Uh, one with his hand against the window or her hand against the window. Yes, her name is Eve and uh, these are the children of neuroblastoma. The other images of Evelyn mm -hmm. and their parents agreed to uh, let me show their pictures. Okay. Uh, when I was coming up with the idea of, of having Amber go through cancer, I looked up the most common childhood cancers. And of course, uh, leukemia was at the top of the list. Yeah. Second was uh, brain cancer. And then one popped up that I'd never heard of, neuroblastoma. It's actually a cancer that affects the nerve cells, nerve tissues and cells. And uh, it mostly, most common in children under the age of five. And while I was researching it, I came across a treatment that absolutely blew my mind. Um, now it, it is, it's called MIBG. I won't even attempt to pronounce it. However, it is, so radioactive that it has to be administered in a concrete leaded room. Mm. And it only affects the cells, the cancer cells. No other healthy cells are affected by it. And it just, I was, it was unbelievable to me. And that's what this is all for, to find a cure. At this time, there is not a cure for this disease. Um, and while I was researching it and uh, I, I've made many wonderful connections. One of those was with Pat Talungan. She's the uh, founder of the Children's Neuroblastoma Cancer Foundation in Bloomingdale, Illinois. Pat lost her son, Nick, to this disease at the age of 10. And she is a champion of helping families through these difficult times and finding uh, resources for them, helping them. Every year there's a conference with medical professionals from all over the world that come and talk to them about treatments. And mm -hmm. it's, in fact, I'm gonna be joining that conference at the end of this month, so yeah. Uh, I am a cancer survivor myself, and uh, I wanted to let everyone know that our, a percentage of the proceeds is being donated to this worthy charity. The, uh, to the children's uh Neuroblastoma Cancer Foundation. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say if you haven't said it before. Now, um, Hi, exactly. tell us about the book. Uh, is it, uh, who's it written for? Who should be reading this? Uh, it's, it is a young adult. However, there is a romance. Uh, as I said, her parents' storybook romance. Mm -hmm. She actually, uh, Jessica, Amber's mother, actually meets her father, uh, when he calls the wrong number, and he's at the, he's in the military, <laughs> and uh, so they connect, and 
And then it, it goes to Amber's birth, like I said, and her diagnosis. And then at age 13, she and her mother uh, take a vacation time up in uh, Auburn, I'm sorry, in Plasterville, mm -hmm. which is up the road a few hours. And uh, yeah, so it, it, it can be for romance readers, it can be young adult, mm -hmm. just about anyone. Yeah, I read a lot of young adult books myself. I really enjoy them. Maybe that's my reading <laughs> level or something, I don't know, but uh, uh, I always find a way to connect through young adult books. Um, and I, I, mean, I, I love researching history and so on, so yeah. there is a bit about astronauts, a bit about military funeral at uh, Arlington, and uh, even the uh, Pearl Harbor attack, so I love mixing all that in. So it, there's something for everyone, really. It's all mixed into the book. Yeah, it sounds like you did a lot, an awful lot of research, not just historical, but the different types of cancers, and, and uh, they're so complex, and you waded through all of that. Um, uh, yeah, if but, you, when you read it, you will see I did extensive research. It was so important to get it right. You, yes. Cancer, any kind of cancer, but children's, I, I consulted with doctors, with psychologists, uh, so yeah, a lot of time and effort went into the writing of this story. By the way, we have your web address on the screen, uh, GloriaGallowayAuthor.com. What would our viewers find on your website? A lot about, uh, about, about me, of course, about the book. Uh, and you can purchase the book from that website. But it tells uh, somewhat about uh, the story itself and uh, the different characters and includes a dog a canine research and rescue dog as well. So it's pretty interesting and okay. fun to look at. Yeah, I, whenever I could order the book directly from the author, I like to do that. I don't know, it gives me some, feel I have a connection that way or something. Uh, exactly. But, yeah. And it, they can also, I do have where they can uh, email me from there as well. Right, right. By the way, I, I've been on this kick a little bit lately. This is sounds like an amazing book that'll cover a little history and be a little uh, tearjerker and uh, on and on. Um, my kids, uh, when they were young adults, uh, they're going to birthday parties every other week. And I, when I order a book, I order like five of them because that's what my kids got to take and give away at birthday parties. So if you're watching, try that. Order five copies of this or ten copies, and you may be moved uh, to give a copy to people. And uh, I also like everybody reading the same book I'm reading. So. Uh, I, I know that uh, I just saw this book on Amazon. It's there, or go to Gloria's uh, website and buy it there. Um, Gloria, we're already bumping against our time limit. Any last thoughts, anything else you want to share with our viewers? Uh, yeah, for those writers out there that are you know, trying to get their book out, uh, just stick with it. Join local uh, clubs uh, now that we have Zoom. You can. You don't even have to be in the same city, yeah. and uh, they're very, very yeah. helpful. I belong to the uh, Sacramento chapter of the California Writers Club, mm -hmm. but there are so many out there and so many resources. And just write. Yeah. Follow your your dream and your heart. Just keep For writing. Sure. What What should writers be doing? They should be writing. So exactly. that's great advice, exactly. Gloria. And joining the groups also. Does that give you a place to find uh, like beta readers and stuff like that for your book? Uh, yes, uh, uh, the reason, if you look up beta readers, Google any of that, it's readily available and, yeah. and lists everything. Yeah. And uh, the, the local writers groups help us with that. Yeah, for sure. Um, do you have another book going on in your mind or on paper? Uh, a little bit, but uh, it's still in the process. So. <laughs> when it's ready, it'll come out. Yes, exactly. My daughter keeps telling me, sit and write, and uh, right, yeah. I, I should follow her direction take, for sure. Take Gloria's advice, Gloria. Thank you so much for your time, and we want to have you back anytime. Thank you so much, Mike. You All have right. a good day. And for our viewers, don't go anywhere, because we'll be back with more uh, authors right after this.